<coughs> in this class uh, we shall introduce uh, nuclear physics uh, in this class we shall talk about uh, the nucleus its constituents types of nucleus and we shall also see some of the units in which the atomic and the nuclear particles are uh, their masses are measured and their energies are measured uh, in the year 1911 rutherford this famous experiment of uh, scattering of alpha particles by matter found that the alpha particles some of the alpha particles very few as a matter of fact were uh, deflected by the thin foil and uh, the deflection in few of the alpha particles were even more than 90 degrees so he concluded that uh, in atom at the center there was a very dense entity which was uh, very small in size which was responsible for the deflection of the alpha particles even more than uh, 90 degrees although there was very few deflection and most of them passed through the thin foil so it was considered that the, there was a lot of uh, uh, space in atoms and there was at center a dense entity or dense particle so uh, he concluded that uh, the dense uh, particle or the entity was very small and he named it atomic nucleus named it atomic nucleus and the dimension of the nucleus was uh, 10 to the power minus 14 or even less and uh, it is found now that the nuclear dimension is uh, of the order of 10 to the power minus 15 meter whereas we know a atom has a dimension of about 10 to the power minus 10 meter so you can see how small the dimension of a nucleus is even in the comparison to the dimension of the atom now uh, uh, at that point of time it was thought that uh, the nucleus had uh, protons and neutrons uh at that part of time it was uh, thought that the nucleus had protons and electrons inside them uh two years later in 1913 niels bohr gave the basis of the quantization of or uh, the quantum theory of atoms and this uh, gave a very uh, immense support to the idea of nucleus in an atom niels bohr uh, gave the postulate of the stability of the orbits by the quantization of the electrons moving in the orbits so basically his theory helped in the establishment of the nucleus in the atoms then in 19 uh 32 chadwick this 
discovered the neutral particles called neutrons inside the nucleus so in a way this discarded the uh, idea of uh, electrons residing inside the nucleus so uh, neutrons and protons were the only particles inside a nucleus which were later on confirmed by experiments and so electrons were uh, revolving around the nucleus and the nucleus only had neutrons and protons uh, next we shall see the uh, the constituents of the nucleus and the classification now first of all uh, we shall talk about the nucleus itself so nucleus is something which uh, uh, consists of the entire positive charge and almost the entire mass that is about 99% of the mass of the atom inside nucleus uh, there are positively charged particle which are called protons and the neutral particle called the neutron now the total charge inside the nucleus is ze where z is the number of protons and e is the charge on each proton and e is equal to 1.602 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb so this is uh, the composition of the nucleus now next is the term which is called nucleon the protons and the neutrons together are called nucleons so nucleon means protons and the neutrons proton has a mass of 1.673 into 10 to the power minus 27 kg and already uh, we have told has a charge of 1.602 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb a neutron has a slightly uh, greater mass
of 1.675 into 10 to the power minus 27 kg. Next is the atomic number. So atomic number is the number of protons inside a nucleus is known as atomic number and it is denoted by Z. Now, uh, in neutral atom, the number of uh, protons will be equal to the number of electrons. So, uh, this Z will also give the number of electrons. Next is the neutron number. A neutron number is nothing but the number of neutrons in the nucleus. And this is often noted by the alphabet N. Next is the nucleon number or the mass number. So what is this? The total number of neutrons and protons in a nucleus is known as the nuclear number. This is also called the mass number as this number is the closest whole number to the mass of the nucleus measured in, in the atomic mass units. and it is abbreviated as a m u the point to be noted here is that the nuclear number or the mass number is a uh, denoted by capital A and 
मास नंबर इज ए इज अ होल नंबर बट द एक्चुअल मास ऑफ द न्यूक्लियस इज नॉट ए होल नंबर the nomenclature for writing the symbols now you can write a symbol as a x a z where x is the symbol for the element and a is the mass number and z is the atomic number so using this symbol we can write the subatomic particles like electrons protons and neutrons like this e minus 1 0 for electron now for proton this is 1 1 and for neutron n this is 1 this is 0 so this is how we can write electron proton and neutron now the next is Can also be written as x a or x a z n. So, for example, we can write These are the symbols, or different ways of writing the uranium element, where the mass number is two thirty five, the atomic number is ninety two, and the number of neutron is one forty three. This is how we write this. Uh, symbol for the elements now uh, while writing uh, we take the uh, the notation as for the nucleus so for proton we can write as something like this 1 1 and this is the symbol for the hydrogen element so this can very well be written as the symbol for proton now the next uh, we shall see the classification of or the types of a uh, nucleus so let us do it next we classification of nucleus first uh, we talk about isotopes the nucleus
having identical atomic number numbers but uh, different mass number and uh, neutron number are known as isotopes in isotopes the chemical properties are same oxygen 15 16 and oxygen 17 are the examples of isotopes here you can see that the atomic number is 8 and which has same for all of them the hydrogen 110 these are also example of uh, isotopes having atomic number 1 next is uh, uh isobars nucleus having same mass number but different atomic number and neutron number are called isobars here since the uh the number of protons or the atomic number are different and since then the number of electrons are different therefore the chemical properties are different in case of isobars the chemical properties are different now example So these three are the examples of isobars having atomic number or rather uh, mass number 131 next is uh, isotopes
isotones are the nucleus which are having the same neutron number. So in, the, in this nucleus, uh, A minus Z will be equal as N is equal to A minus Z. Examples of isotones having uh, neutron number two. Next are uh, mirror nuclei. So, in mirror nuclei, uh, are the pair of nucleus uh, nuclei where the number of proton in one is equal to the number number of neutron in the other or vice versa the pair of nuclei where the number of proton of 1 is equal to number of neutron of the other or vice versa are called mirror nuclei. Now the examples can be These are the examples of mirror nuclei. Next is isomers. The nucleus existing in long lived excited states uh, having lifetime uh, greater than 10 to the power minus 9 seconds which have equal number of protons neutrons and mass number but having different nuclear energy states Different nuclear 
clear energy states are called isomers or nuclear isomers examples uh, 99 m tc and 99 tc are examples of isomers of TC. Similarly, uh, 137 m barium and uh, 137 BA are examples of of isomers. of 137 barium here uh, m stands for metastable state which represents the excited isomeric state of nucleus Now next we shall see about the units which are used in the nuclear physics units for uh, measuring of uh, mass also the units for uh, measurement of uh, energy to see it. mass units and in which atomic mass unit a unit in which the atomic and nuclear masses are measured is known as atomic mass unit a m u now it is defined as or uh, it is the 12th part of the mass of one atom of carbon 12 So now, uh, twelve gram of carbon twelve consists of six point zero two three into ten to power twenty three atoms. 
or we can say 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 atom of C12 uh, has mass 12 gram. Therefore, uh, therefore, uh, one atom of C12 will have mass. Twelve by six point zero two three into ten to the power twenty three grams, and by definition, mu is the mass of the twelfth part of one atom of carbon twelve. So one. AMU will be equal to 12 by 12 into 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 grams. This is equal to 1 by 1.6 uh, 1 by 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 grams and uh, this is equal to this is equal to one point six six zero into ten to the power minus twenty four grams or is equal to 1.660 into 10 to the power minus 27 kg. So 1 AMU is equal to 1.660 into 10 to the power minus 27 kg. Now uh, some energy units. Electron volts. Now, electron volt is the uh, unit of energy in which the atomic and the nuclear energies are measured. So now it is electron volt. Electron volt is the is the energy possessed by an electron, which is accelerated through a potential difference of one volt. It is one eV is the energy possessed by an electron. which is accelerated 
through a potential difference of one volt. So one E V equal to uh, one point six zero two into ten to the power minus nineteen coulomb into one volt and that is equal to one point six zero two into ten to the power nineteen joules. Therefore, one EV equal to one point six zero two into ten to the power nineteen joules. Now this EV is often uh, uh, used with some abbreviations like. Uh, or multiplies like uh, KEV that is kilo electron volts, uh, MEV that is mega electron volts, GEV that is uh, giga electron volts, etc. So this is about the energy units. Now uh, we shall see the relation between atomic mass unit and the energy unit. So by Einstein's relation, energy equivalent for one AMU will be given. So by the relation equal to m c square. It is equal to one AMU into uh, two point nine nine eight into ten to the power eight meter per second whole square. And now one AMU is equal to one point six six zero into ten to the power minus twenty seven kg into this 2.998 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second square and if we calculate this we will have uh, this equal to this is equal to 1.492 into 10 to the power minus 10 Joules. So this can be converted to MEV and it is equal to 1.492 into 10 to the power minus 10 Joule into 1 MEV by 1.602 uh, into 10 to the power minus 18 Joule and this is equal to uh, so almost equal to 931.5 MeV so uh, this is the energy which is equivalent to 1 Mu of mass so since E is equal to M C square 
therefore uh, m is equal to e by c square so masses can be uh, written in the units of meb by c square or eb by c square for uh, the nuclear and the atomic levels now next is the uh, the length unit the last which we will do today now the nuclear uh, dimension in lens is given in the units of femtometer and which is uh, equal to 10 to the power minus 15 meter so for length this is the unit as low as 10 to the power minus 15 meter which is called femtometer one femtometer is equal to 10 to the power minus 15 meter and this is also uh, called as uh, in mark of respect for the US Italian uh, scientist Ernico Fermi so one femtometer is also known as Fermi in mark of respect for this physicist Enrico Fermi. So this is all for today. We shall end here.